guys welcome back to ironclad rc uh this is a 100 percent homemade sport fishing boat uh build series that i'm working on uh in previous videos we made a tuna tower to outriggers scale details last video we actually made the motor mount all right out of aluminum uh today we're going to be working on the stuffing tube for the boat i'm using a piece of raw uh, stock eighth inch stock for the shaft the stuffing tube is going to be three or four pieces uh, We're going to install a grease fitting so we don't have to pull the shaft from the stuffing tube as often because it is going to be submerged dry so um, We also need to drill the hole for the stuffing tube the ground stick around big B here with ironclad RC So I guess first of all we need to figure out basically uh, where the shaft shaft is going to go through the boat um, so we could put the actual shaft in the boat and figure out mm, basically how long to make our stuffing tube. Okay. Um, I'm using some telescoping brass tubes here for the, for the stuffing tube. It was a copper pipe that I split basically down the middle and opened it up. All right. I didn't have any copper sheet. So we're going to use this as our strut. All right. So this is the bottom of the boat right here. Okay. So we're going to actually cut a strip of this and we're going to bend it all right this is my stuffing tube we're going to bend it to fit the stuffing tube and then the strut's going to go up to the bottom of the boat where we can epoxy that to the boat that's going to hold our strut into place so it don't move around on us all right we're also i've got this copper pipe right here all right um i'm going to use that for grease fitting i'm going to tap a hole for grease fitting so um, i've also got a telescoping this right here fits my eighth shaft perfect and it kind of telescopes into the into the stuffing tube we're, we're going to cut about three quarter inch piece of this okay and put it on both ends of the stuff it's a larger part of the stuffing tube so that grease will fit in it okay so that's the larger part and then we're going to cut a three quarter piece of the smaller stuffing tube material to fit inside of it and then we're going to solder it into the the main shaft all right and then our our drive shaft goes inside of it okay um the reason i'm doing it like this if you you know if you use the bigger the bigger stuffing tube with like basically like a little stuffing box on both ends um all this right here will be filled with, with grease okay um on the inside of the boat i'm going to put this guy here solder it onto our stuffing tube we're going to put a grease fitting, tap a grease fitting into the boat and drill a hole into the pipe once we get it tapped. All right. That's going to allow us to um, grease the shaft without having to remove the shaft. All right. Um, like I said, we're going to put the strut right here. This little tab right there that we're going to bend to fit over the stuff into with this copper. All right. So that's kind of my plan. I hope it kind of makes sense to you. Um, we'll have the smaller brass tube on both sides so that we have like a, a grease dam. All right, that's also going to prevent water from seeping into the boat through the stuffing tube. Okay, uh, I've done this before, so it's, uh, it's not too bad. It's uh, pretty easy. This is a steel shaft like I said earlier um, I'm gonna use it for my first you know setting up the boat and possibly the first couple of runs until I can get my hands on a stainless steel shaft Got the shaft cut now we need to see how long we need to make the stuff into let's make sure this is gonna be long enough that goes in there all right it's gonna be there. The motor's gonna be forward like that. Probably go in the shaft about 25 mil or so. That'll give us a good uh, grease dam, water dam. 
So, 25 mil. The grease dam, all right, stuffing box, whatever you want to call it. Then it comes up here to the other little grease dam that'll be soldered into place. I got my hole punched, ready to be to be drilled. All right, we're gonna drill it out and tap it with a four millimeter tap. got my little nipple I made all, all ready to go okay now I'm just gonna kind of rough up the the tube okay get it prepared for the solder all right it's here especially because that's going inside inside the, the stuff and tube so these need to be cleaned up really good hole drilled for my grease fitting we'll go ahead and put this on first uh, I measured it in the boat made sure it was going to be in the right position so everything's good there all right <clears throat> got it lined up there okay and I'm just going to solder it outside of this one I'm just going to solder around it all right nothing fancy nothing fancy nothing fancy Wheeler, this thing's older than I am, y'all. This is my dad's. Got my flux on there. It's gonna take a second to heat up this big piece. Do the other side. Flux on it. Push it in there so you get the flux on the inside of the tube. You want to make sure you can get these in there straight as you possibly can. You don't want them cocked at an angle or nothing. You'll put pressure, unwanted pressure, on your um, on your shaft. Like so, make sure our shaft goes in like butter. All right, I don't want to put it in the vise, I'm just gonna lean it on it. This is the one for a propeller, so I'm probably gonna push it most like pretty much all the way in, you know. pressure at all now we've got a bunch of room in here for grease okay so we put our grease fitting on probably end up loctiting it and when I'm not using the grease fitting I could put the uh, a grub screw in there so it doesn't leak all right boom see that nice huh things tighter than a mosquito cha-cha yeah <laughs> So that's how I make my shafts, all right? Grease grease it up externally. You don't have to pull the shaft out. Uh, pretty simple, pretty simple, you know? Takes a little bit of planning. A little bit of planning and, and um, you know, preparation, but uh, it, the end result's pretty nice looking, okay? So let's uh, see what it looks like in the boat. 
looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Normally, uh, when I get finished with a little project like this, it makes me feel better. But uh, not this go around. Not this go around. This COVID's got me, got me under the weather, man. So yeah, I think I'm gonna cut my shaft a little bit more. Um, I think we got what two and a half, two and five eighths from the transom. Uh, I really wanted that rudder a little bit closer to my my center line on the boat so I get a good turn, you know. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Brass tubing that just slips right over my, my drive shaft, my, my, my stuffing tube. All right, I'm going to use that as a strut. I'm just going to solder on this piece of brass, and then I'll trim it up the right angle, probably just drill a few holes at the top of it, you know, epoxy it right into the hole. Yeah, done, done. My little jig I made up. Got a old brushless motor rotor. 316th shaft here. All right, I'm gonna slide my tube on. I'll put this in my little my little C clamp. Got some magnets back here to support the backside, and that'll hold it straight while I'm soldering. Uh, the strut onto this stuff and tube. Alright. Like so. And uh, I'll start soldering. Got it on here straight, you guys. You're gonna have to take my word for it. This is some aggravating shit. So yeah, it come out pretty good. I got it polished up on my bench buffer. Um, I'm going to shorten up the shaft a little bit, but that's what it's going to look like on the outside of the boat. Got about 7, 8 degrees uh, sh shaft angle here, stuffing tube angle. Um, I'll, I'll just put a little tube on top of there, you know, and uh, grease it with my little grease syringe here. Use this for all my boats. Turned out good. I, you know, I may solder this on once I get it epoxied into the boat and everything. If I have some vibration back here. But um, it, it makes it easy when you're working on the boat right now. Pulling the shaft in and out. Just not soldering it in. I may taper this a little bit more. Taper the end of it. The front side. Leading edge. But uh, yeah. I'll pull it out. Let you see what it looks like outside the boat. I apologize for the, for the video quality. With this stainless steel tabletop here and the brass, it's just really hard to get a good picture quality. So I apologize. I'm also a little under the weather with this COVID virus. I just can't keep still. I can't lay in bed praying, you know. I gotta do something, you know. But uh, I use electrical solder for the ends that, that slide into the main stuffing tube. These grease dam stuffing box uh, deal. Uh, electrical solder on the inside, you know, when I pushed it in, and then I used non electrical solder on the outside of the ends right here. All right, that's a little stronger. Electrical solder for both ends of this. Had a hard time with the non electrical solder with this um, grease fitting, you know, on both sides because it's copper brass. But um, it's, it turned out pretty good. Non electrical solder for, for the strut. All right. Like I said, I'm going to do stainless steel shaft. I'm just using this for now. Maybe for, for the first run or two until I get a stainless steel shaft. I recommend a stainless steel shaft if you're using a straight shaft. Setup purposes. I, I, you know, I don't have a stainless steel. I'm just using this to get the boat set up and going. Um, but yeah, yeah. I got to balance the propeller and all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. Sorry about the terrible picture quality. But um, yeah, yeah, she's uh, she's coming along. Camera, I've actually done a few little details. Added a fish finder up here, some little gauges. Uh, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you guys watching Big B with Ironclad RC, a channel where we tinker, test, and tune everything RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. Big B with Ironclad RC.